Hello, this is David Dean, and yes, we have the new trap in the game. This is the Cannonball Launcher, and I am in my Storm Shield Defense base. Currently, I'm on Storm Shield Defense number 9. We're not going to be doing the entire Storm Shield Defense. We're just going to do one wave. We know the first wave always comes from the east here on the home base. So I've set up a nice little area right here, all the husks are going to be funneling in right here, getting hit by the cannonballs coming straight out. And once they get in here, they'll be getting hit by crossfire. I did want to wait to put this one up because when you place it, you get rubber duckies that flip up and then you got the cannons. And then if they manage to make it through here, they come through here, they get knocked back by this launcher and hopefully hit by some more cannonballs. There's still a lot of questions about the trap as far as how it works. And let's go ahead and actually we're going to head up here. Let me show you quick on the trap itself just what we have so far. Fires a sequence of five bouncing cannonballs that pierce through enemies. But as you saw, it only had three cannons. Um, I set up my perks on this. I want this thing going off as fast as possible. So that's what I focused on, reload speed and reload speed. And then after that, I just went with crit rating and damage. Could have gone both damage. But that seemed like the best setup. But we will see when we actually start doing this. Normally, the reload time is 12 seconds. And by the two reload speeds, we got it almost half of that. The impact, though, is only 920, but... They're supposedly going to get hit by five cannonballs, so that adds up to a lot of impact. The one crit chance gets it up to 38%. Not too bad. And let's see, knockback decent damage is 14,000. But we have to see how that works with the multiple hits. So, I got my defenders here. I'm not sure what we're getting for a wave coming in. If it's flingers, they will take care of all the flinger trash. But let's go ahead and get this started. Um, <laughs> I have not seen this in any way, shape, or form, so it will be cool to test out. Mainly since we're going to be getting like level 132 husk. And I can get, let's see, can I do it now? All right. This will help slow down the husk a little bit. And blasters are going to be a pain. One of the, there goes the cannonballs, but it kind of looked like, oh, they're bouncing like crazy. I need to get to the side. Maybe I should have run my Outlander with this. Whoa. So those go a long way. Oh, these are level 132. Shooting them isn't going to help me too much. Got to get back up there by the trap, get on the hoverboard, and let's go get killed. All right. Uh-oh. I'm pulling everything off of there. Come on. Jeez, we got cannonballs bouncing around all over the place. That is really cool. Let me get up here. And down in the pit. And actually, I'll set that up. So we got the cannonballs bouncing back and forth. And just shredding the husk in there. Awesome. Hardly anything still getting through. Open up. Oh, darn blasters always messing with my traps. But yeah, you see them going back and forth. Let's see. Nope, can't see through it. At least, up. Oh. Yeah, he's toast. Go away. But yes, the cannonballs can bounce back and forth. Like right there and just shredding the husk and I'm about ready to die. Somebody got a good target on me. Ah, uh, there he is. Actually, Santa's little helper. <laughs> Whoa. How are they getting through? Huh. Don't know what's going on there. But yes, you can set them up like this where they're bouncing all over the place. And that works absolutely great. 
Let's see, how does it work against the shielders? It looks like they're taking a little bit of damage, but definitely much lesser effect. Let me get my shield, and then I'll head back down there and throw down a slow field. Still got 148 husk left to go. So we'll slow that down. And now we can watch them bouncing. <laughs> I do love the cannonballs bouncing back and forth, shredding the husk. There they go. <laughs> ah, I love it. Oh, there we go. All right. Actually, dying here is a good thing. So we can get up nice, close, and personal. Come on, shred them. And let's see. I got 32 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and use that to crawl way out here. Look at me go. And there. <laughs> oh, the only problem is that slow recharge. Even with two reloads, it takes over six seconds. But yeah, that kind of shreds them when they're in there. And look, my amplifier hasn't even been touched. This is level 132 husk. The trap is a level 106 trap. Oh, it's going to force me to respawn. But yes, this thing is awesome, and the possibility, possibilities with it are great. Um, with that bouncing back and forth. So yeah, basically a bunch of level 106 cannonball traps was able to take out everything. Somehow they blew out that area over there. All right. So let's see what we got. We used up um, 30 some charges, 36 charges there. And you saw the cannonballs going all the way off the screen. And I'm going to have to go back and look at the actual damage that was being done per shot on this. But the cannonballs are awesome. Um, are the broadside trap. Definitely great. So I'm going to go ahead and head out, get this posted just to kind of give you a first look at the trap. So take care and have an amazing day.